Right, welcome back. Now we're going to use parse uh, Swift, parse as a as a, a back end solution to hold our data. It's like our database. Now it's, uh, it's, it's parse is a nice uh, back end if you haven't used it before. Uh, it works uh, across all platforms. If I click on Docs right here, uh, you can see it works for iOS, Android, .NET, JavaScript. So this is a cloud storage database. You're going to store your data here, uh, and it's just pretty, pretty easy to work with you know parse has a great documentation so there's a lot to learn here let's just jump straight to parse and start working with uh not android but uh, uh sorry i'm really lost here ios that is what we want to work with and it's pretty much uh, the same in across all platform i mean just different languages so let's go ahead and create our first xcode project so create a new Xcode project and we're going to call this Swiftagram. Okay, and then the organization name can remain at Team App Creative and uh, the organization identifier can remain at that. So the rest of the uh, language, make sure it's Swift, uh, iPhone, and uh, you don't need code data, just click next. Tells you where you want to store your project, just create in there, create. And as soon as that is done, we can allow this. Let me just close this so it doesn't obscure your views. Yeah. All right. So, oh no. Uh, wrong item. Now, uh, okay. So, as you can see, the first page that we presented with is this project document uh, project information uh, the general project information where we have the bundle identifier which identifies our app uh, the version of the app the build so this is just general stuff you don't really have to worry about uh, at the moment uh, one thing that I'd like to mention early is this build phases right here because you're going to be working with uh, in the next uh, videos or two uh, we are going to be needing to add parse library in here this is where we're going to add our libraries and we're going to need some dependencies as well from uh, Xcode itself so let's just uh, get that out of the way right now now the next thing we want to do after doing this is uh, you know maybe you want to test your app to see if uh, you know it's working on the latest version of Xcode sometimes it does crash uh, but let's try this so that should definitely show us a blank uh, Swiftgram application now while that is doing that, I will go ahead to parse here and I will create a new application and I will call it Swiftagram. Okay, I need to click in there. Swiftagram. Yeah, silly name, but uh Instagram is silly too. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go ahead to do it. so after this we go to quick start guide. I like going to quick start guide. And I will go to data, mobile, iOS, and then here I used to use Objective C, but now Swift just got introduced, so I'll be using Swift. And I will create on an existing project. If I click on new project, definitely this will just, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, it just brought me here. Wow. Well, that's cool to know. Existing projects does the same too. Anyway, let's use existing project. So the first thing we're going to do is download the SDK. All right, well, that is downloading. We can check on the status in this one. And it looks good. It looks like uh, this is running on iPhone 6. It's pretty big. Uh, I just updated my Xcode to Xcode 8.3. And uh, uh, I mean, iOS version 8.3 pretty much so Xcode version is um, I believe 8.3 as well because they have to be compatible for each to for, for that to run on uh, and that can be seen on a general and you can see here the version deployment target is 8.3 right here definitely and that will run that and we have Swiftagram running so that is cool now we've completed downloading parse right here so I'm going to open it And I'm going to click the project back. 
and I'm just uh, this is just uh, where's that open file I believe it's right here uh, now here if you go back to parse documentation the drag the parse dot framework and both dot framework you download in Xcode project so we're just gonna drag those two uh, frameworks into our project simple um, so different stuff yeah so I'm gonna just um, click on both framework and command to copy both to I mean select both and then drag them so let me actually uh, I made a horrible mistake uh, let me move this uh, it's too many windows here right now we want to drag this into here and then copy item if needed and then finish and after doing that you will see that we have both framework and parse framework so this two these are external uh, libraries they are uh, we just drag them right as you can see if I go to build faces now you'll see parse and bolts framework so those are the most those are the required uh, uh, external framework now we're gonna need some more internal frameworks and we're gonna go back to parse and the next thing you see it says um, now we click the uh, build phases section where we are right now and then we start adding this so click the plus button and then link the binary with libraries so these are the libraries we need to link them as well the frameworks if you will, if you may so I will do so what I always do is move this to the side and then this to the side as well and then now I can start saying plus plus and I just select audio toolbox framework and I just type audio toolbox framework and as you can see it's right there I just click on add I click on CF network framework click on add I click on co graphic framework click on add I click on plus again and then uh, I think I was on co graphics now co location so make sure you just uh, follow and procedure by everything because if you miss one you'll definitely get an error so co location mobile core services mobile core services I don't know if these are required. Yeah, they are. So you'll definitely get an error. Mobile core services, quartz core framework. So bear with me here, guys, while I just try to quickly security framework. Uh, store kit, store kit framework. Uh, system configuration system configuration framework libs dot dy lib uh, libs qlite libs qlite uh, as you can see here it's three there's no point uh, so just you know be on the right path <laughs> Uh, and as you can see here, they also give us another. Uh, if you're using Objective C, you could add this account and social framework. So we're not using Objective C, so we are good to go. The next thing we do before we proceed to, uh, we need to connect now, since we have just dragged in the libraries, right? They're just there, pretty much. They, there's no connection between these libraries and our project. They're just sitting there. We've just dragged them, which is cool. Now let's go ahead and. Uh, make a connection between parse and our app so to do this this is the section we're going to be needing first before continuing select the app from the menu to the right uh, okay open your app delegate so this is where we're going to need app delegate the swift this is very important so right here app delegate that swift and every app definitely comes with that and one thing we need to do is copy this import bowls and import parse so as you can see we have to you know update it like so it's just straightforward so our app uses UI kit so we need to update it by adding parse as well and bolts 
And as you can see here, the app delegate class, um, the application method here function. We need to copy the parse enable data store. Actually, we don't even need data, local data store. Let's just use this initialized parse. This is what we need so far. If you're going to use the local data, uh, local storage, you could use enable local data store. It's always good practice to do it. But in this case, I'll just copy initializing parse. And maybe this optional for, you know, but I don't need that for tracking right now. But it's always good practice to copy everything. Why not copy everything, huh? <laughs> yeah. So I'll just copy that. And as you can see inside of the application, I will paste that in there. And I will get rid of this link. And this is my private keys and uh, you know client key so you know don't use this use yours for it to work else you'll get an error so you have to create so let's compile and run uh, we could test the SDK as a matter of fact so uh, well we need to test it so we could see some data now it can run it's not connected to parse pretty much because as you can see here as soon as I say parse okay, for example parse see dot is this uh, parse uh, methods right here so which is cool that means parse is connected to the app now. So let's do some taste data. To do some taste data, let's go to the view controller right here. Now, what a view controller is, is what control what the user will view. So it's just pretty straightforward. And we're going to be talking more in the next video. But for now, let's go ahead and test to see if we are connected to parse. So to do that, the first thing, first make sure you include our SDK imports at the top of your .swip file. So all files should have this import parse. Just like we always import UI kit right here, we need to import parse as well. And I like to put it below here. And then now let's just copy this taste data. This is what we, you know, some save taste data that we're going to use. So as you can see, it's a test object is the class name or the, the uh, class name that will be responsible for holding all the objects. And this is our first test object. Foo is the property and bar is, uh, this is the property uh, name. Like, you know, you'd say, you'll get the idea. Let me just run it real quick so that before I confuse myself too. <laughs> so uh, if this runs, we get an error, um, a message, not an error. Object has been saved, which is cool. And this is right here. This is courtesy of this print line. If I check my back end, we have a test object from Swiftagram, and it has a property uh, foo, uh, the property bar, right? Uh, foo is the uh, key, and bar is the value. So that is so simple. Right, uh, we've now connected to Parse. In the next video, we'll start working and designing our layout and start seeing how we could create users and make our Switchagram app work. So, see you in the next video.